YouTube, what's up boys? It's your boy Grant. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video, uh, something I found out uh, doing some research. I was uh, just got a battery replaced uh, and I've been searching the forums. I uh, picked up ISTA, things like that. And I, I was having some difficulty in actually coding the new battery. So uh, just as a little history here, uh, my battery is AG, AGM battery. Uh, I went from an 80 amp, ba 80 amp hour battery to a 90 amp hour battery and could not figure out how to get that coded. So uh, I was able to get the battery registered, but I was struggling getting it coded. And I want to give you guys a, a quick, um, just a, a quick video of how I was able to, to figure out how to do that. And it was actually pretty simple. So uh, we're going to show you that real quick. Okay, fellas, now we're going to show you the actual coding. So uh, we've got our Beamer code out. Um, we're going to, first of all, we're going to get into the program, get that loaded. We have to connect to our adapter as well as to the vehicle. So that's what we're doing here right now. Um, while that's connecting, I always want to make sure everybody remembers that you want to make sure that your, your car is on a battery maintainer or a battery charger. When you're doing any type of coding, whether that's coding with Beamer code, whether that's coding with your laptop, the last thing you want to have happen is actually have your battery die in the middle of coding. You can actually brick your, your DME uh, and that's it just causes you all sorts of other problems. Um, my understanding is it can be fixed even if you brick your DME, but uh, but it's not an easy process. You might have have to have your car towed to the dealership or uh, do some remote coding from one of the other uh, you know coding gurus. So always just avoid that if all possible make sure that you're on a battery charger or a maintainer so one thing i'm doing as well while i'm uh, while my car is well i'm sorry while the beamer code is connecting to the car i typically will go in here make sure that the ac controls are, are your your ac is off um, make sure that your um, daytime running lamps everything like that is is turned off so that you don't have to worry about draining that extra battery uh with with anything like that so this is still connecting. We're just identifying all of the different uh, computers on, on your car. Um, and now that it's connected, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the car access system is, is what it is for the F10 model. So we select car access uh, system. Now it's probably gonna be that same way if you have an F30 or even if you have uh, any of the other uh, models or series. So, uh, but you do wanna make sure that you take a look at it uh, sp particular to your vehicle and make sure that you're, you're using the right steps. So it's identifying that access or that module. Um, and once it does completely uh, do that, now you're gonna to need to go into expert mode. So we're gonna select expert mode. We're gonna understand that there's a warning. So we're gonna hit cl click continue. Um, and for the battery information, the module we're looking for is the 3702. That's actually right there at the bottom. It's VCM AEP data. So that's what we're going to select. Now that that's selected, the next uh, thing to select is your VCM battery class. So I'm selecting that now. And there we go. So this is what, uh, and, and I did some search and it took me a while to find this, but here it is. All we need is for, for me, I actually switched from an 80 amp hour AGM battery to a 90 amp hour AGM battery. So all you do is you actually select that, uh, that 90 amp hour battery, uh, AGM, make sure you're, you're doing the correct battery type. Um, and then you would actually go back to the previous screens and you would then code your information. So um, I'm going to select 80 amp right now just so that I can show you guys what that what those extra screens look like if this is your first time using Beamer code. So we select 80 amp, we go back. So now what we see in that top right hand corner, we are going to code this new change. So we're going to code the changes to the battery. So we're telling the, 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 the DME, I need to go from an 80 amp hour battery to a 90 amp hour battery. Uh, we select code and it's actually going to go through. It's going to write that information to the DME. Uh, your computer or your car will, will typically, you'll see it power off and, 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 and reset or whatnot. Don't worry about that, but that's just the process to get it done. It's as easy as that when it comes to coding the amp hours for your battery. Now, you still want to make sure you go back uh, using one of the other programs to register the battery. Registering the battery can be done um, ver uh, via ISTA. It can be done um, with uh, MHD, there's there's different programs out there that allow you to help that will allow you to register the battery, and you do want to make sure you do that because that is a very uh, important part of this. That's the right thing to do to make sure that your your DME has the right voltage parameters so that you don't overcharge your battery. But it's just as simple as that when it comes to coding this. So um, 
Thanks for tuning in for another video. If you if you would, please like and subscribe to the channel. We want to make sure I keep this content coming for you. Uh, if there's any other videos that you want to see, whether that's Beamer code or anything else, just leave those comments down below. Like I said, I want to keep trying to uh, you know, get this content out to you guys. Uh, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.